Ah, what a difference a day makes. We went ahead and we vacuumed the pool yesterday using the other method, uh, hooking it up, up to the house hose pipe. Um, this system that I had hooked up here, that I showed you before, uh, it does work, but the, the stuff that was on the floor of the pool was just way, way, way too heavy to do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and try this again, but with smaller uh, stuff on the bottom of the pool. Okay, it's working. It looks like it's doing a pretty darn good job. Get this pile over here, hon. Look at that, it's drawing it right up in there. So from, con from concept to actual working model, I think I got pretty lucky. And it is working, it's, it's pulling this stuff up really good. Wouldn't you say? What do you think, honey? Is it working? Yeah. Yeah, rock on. Well, that's working pretty darn good, isn't it? It is. Okay, well I won't bore you with anything more of this. I just wanted to show you that it is working. And so this is a worthwhile update to your inexpensive pool filter. Um, it sure does save you on the water bill because you're not pumping a whole bunch of water into the pool. And you're actually using the, the positive flow of the pump to vacuum your pool. You still got to empty out the bag, but it's worthwhile. If any of y'all watching right now, have a pool like this one, you know what a pain in the butt taking this cover off with water on it is. It is really rough getting the water off the sides. You want to collapse on you when you bring the, the cover over with the water inside the side on top of here. Well, thank goodness there's a solution for this problem. And it is the ever built an eighth horsepower 1800 gallons per hour automatic pool pump cover. Or, I'm sorry, automatic pool cover pump. This is a pretty cool little deal. Uh, it goes, it'll lift up to 21 feet. And here's some more specifications on it. Oops, I don't even read that. Performance. That shows the lifts. How many gallons per minute you'll get. So it's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and do an unboxing and we'll see what's inside here. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I know what a number three screwdriver is for. We got the pool pump. Cord. And it comes with the GFI. Which is nice. There he is. 
Oh, cool. This is a, an adapter. Adapter going on the end of here. Well, what's nice about it is that it has a check valve inside here, too. So when you get the water out, the water goes up the hose, it won't run back into the pool if your pool is, if it's an in-ground pool. Um, which is kind of nice. And then finally, you have the crap screen. Oh, along with some instructions. Well, we don't use instructions for that. No, really, <laughs> read your instructions. So, take that, put that on there, and... That just clips right in there. There you go. You're done. All that's left to do is plug this into power. Active power. And attach a hose to it. Put it on top of your, your cover. And it'll keep all the water off um, automatically. If it rains, it takes the water off. Fantastic item. I would highly recommend it. Yeah, well, man, it, it is so rough taking off that cover. It's just, this just makes it a lot easier. Thanks for watching. The Summer Waves 18 foot quick set pool. 18 by 48 inches. Really nice pool. That filter. <laughs> Now later on in the video, I'm going to show you what the problems are with that filter. Really, really a pain in the butt. I just want to give you a real quick look at the, the pool itself, or the box. It's a good pool. I like it. I didn't think I'd like it, but <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad at all. Got ours from Walmart. Um, not bad price. But be prepared to buy another, another uh, pump for it, another filter and pump. I'll tell you that one. That one. It's a piece of crap. I'll tell you about it in just a few minutes.